Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Rachel Bean. So today I thought I would do a makes video. I'm going to do a what I made in spring video. I'm hoping that these are going to become more of a monthly thing but recently I was quite busy so this is going to be <clears throat> a seasonal one. Um, I only got my sewing space um, which you can see behind me, um, set up in February um, and I'm quite a beginner sewer so I haven't made that many things um, yet but I'm sort of slowly picking up speed. Um, I have a chronic illness, I have ME so sitting down and sewing for like three or four hours at a time just isn't an option for me um, but I have started doing like half an hour to an hour a day. I set a timer and I don't go over it um, so that I don't push myself too far um, and that's been working really really well so yeah that means I've made a few little bits um, so yeah let's get started I will show you what I have been making so this is the first thing I'm going to show you which is a Tilly and the Buttons Lotta dress um, so I got this pattern gosh I think like last year for my birthday off my sister I asked for it um, and it took me ages to actually get around to making it because we moved house and I didn't have a sewing space and blah 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 um, so yeah I finally made it um, I made it out of this duvet cover that I got um, from Etsy it's a vintage duvet cover that has this beautiful border on the bottom of it and then there was a border at the top as well so I sort of cut it out so that I could have top and bottom I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like um, as a whole dress um, but yeah I'm really pleased with it the fit's really good um, it was quite an easy sew um, the I think I guess the hardest thing is getting the elastic in straight is always quite stressful um, but you know I guess that comes with practice um, the only thing that I was a bit disappointed with was I didn't really think about this that it's a dipped hem so the hem of the dress goes like this so it with the border it's not straight across so it wasn't like perfectly pattern matched at the seams because of that um it wasn't like a straight border so i probably should have thought about that and my fabric placing that's nothing to do with the pattern it's just me and my lack of experience not knowing that that wouldn't quite work um but yeah apart from that i'm really happy with it i think um it's quite sort of holiday in Provence kind of <laughs> style dress. I am planning to go to France next year on holiday so um, I think this will be <laughs> a great dress for that. Um, so yeah I'm really happy for it. I'm going to get lots of wear out of it over the summer I think. So my next make, I've just realised looking at my makes actually that all my sewing is Tilly and the Buttons pants. <laughs> Um, that's not going to be the case going forward. I'm making quite a few things that are not Tilly and the Buttons over the next um, few months. But <laughs> I think it's just because I have two of Tilly's books and I just find them really easy to use patterns. I think they're great for beginners. So yeah, I just happen to already have some of her patterns and I had, you know, the books and stuff. So yeah, I'm not just like a Tilly. I mean, I am a Tilly mega fan, but... Um, I am gonna other brands are available I am gonna make something else um, but anyway these are the um, Erin Dungarees which um, she released they released Tilly and the Buttons released um, I think I want to say last month I want to say May it may have been April um, but they're like super chilled you know baggy style oversized dungarees with I did the tie so you can do either you can do ones that like come through buttonholes at the front and tie or you can do like tie on the shoulders I did tie on the shoulders um and then they've got big pockets at the front so I made these out of a pair of curtains that I found in the charity shop I've still got quite a bit of fabric left actually I'm thinking I might make um, a project bag or some kind of bag because it's like a sort of quite stiff canvasy fabric um but yeah, it's a really pretty fabric. It's got lovely flowers on it, you can see. Um, yeah, my only issue is, um, which I have read online, lots of people have had this problem, is that I made my size and I would say that it's like 
one possibly two sizes too big and it is they are supposed to be oversized and baggy but they're a bit too oversized and baggy for me i think that's my only issue with them i'm not sure i'm going to get much wear out of them i think i'm going to use them for like gardening and walking the dog and stuff um but yeah i said i jokingly said to my mum that they feel a bit like maternity dungarees she told me to like put them under the bed for <laughs> the future <laughs> so maybe i will <laughs> but um yeah it, it was really good though because it like all these sewing projects because i'm a beginner you know i have to accept that some of them aren't that wearable and i'm still very much learning and i have um an hourglass figure that's quite um i've got quite a big bust and you know quite big hips quite big bum um and so the fit is always a little bit difficult i often find that i'm always like in between like my waist is one size and then my bust is a size above and it's quite difficult to find the right sizing um but that i think that just comes you know with time with practice i'm learning that twirls are a good thing i think making things out of bed sheets and curtains is really helping me because it's cheap um cheap fabric it doesn't feel too much of a waste um but yeah i was a little bit sad that these came up so big but as i say i looked on instagram and loads of people who'd made them said the same thing that they came out too big and that if they were to make them again they would size down so i'd be tempted at some point to have a go at sizing down i might make the short version um i don't think i can really take these in i think it would just be because the fabric's so thick and the um bib is lined and it was already so hard to like get through multiple layers of fabric with my sewing machine especially because my sewing machine's like not super duper fabulous sewing machine um so yeah um they're a bit big but i as i say i still feel like i've sewn them really neatly um so i can see that like my sewing's getting so much better i'm really happy with like my finishing and how everything's looking and yeah so it's just really good to keep you know practicing and learning new skills and trying things out um and you know improving that's the point of sewing i think it's important as well to be honest because i could just sit here and be like oh yes they're wonderful look at this picture that i've taken but um you know that's not the reality of sewing but it doesn't always go amazingly so yeah i'm okay i'm 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 okay with them <laughs> they're okay <laughs> um but i'm hoping to do better next time um i might have a go at some point at making a more structured dungaree pattern because these ones are very much like baggy um loose easy to sew which is great but you know the sort of proper dungarees with like the studs and the clips and things like that i'd love to have a go at that at some point uh, maybe in the winter because i'll get more wear out of them um but yeah so that's my second sew um now this is my third sew so now this one was an interesting one <laughs> because um i made a pair of um sapphire well i made sapphire jumpsuit out of the tilly and the buttons make it simple book um and i made it really well looks really lovely super neat and tidy but the top was too tight as i say I'm in between sizes so I went with my waist size and I should have gone with my bust size because it was like two or three inches too tight on the bust. So I took the top off because I realised that these are just the sapphire trousers underneath. Um, so yeah I've now got a pair of sapphire trousers but I still have the top so um, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with that we'll see. Um, but for now I've just got a pair of sapphire trousers which I quite like they're in this really nice fabric which is from sew over it which is midnight botanical um I saw that oh I can't remember her Instagram handle I'll tag her below one of the um ladies who works at sew over it made a really lovely vera dress out of the midnight botanical I'm a big fan of this fabric it's really pretty I might have to get some more to make something else out of it because I'm not sure how much wear I'm going to get out of these sapphire trousers they're really lightweight I think they might be quite nice for sort of summer evenings like going to the pub or something but um I need to yeah I don't know whether to get more fabric and like have a go at making like a matching top so that it looks like a jumpsuit but it's not a jumpsuit i feel like that could be quite good um i don't know what pattern i would use though um so yeah i just need to sort of figure that out but again i'm quite pleased with you know how they went and yeah 
it was a good little practice. I think I'd like to make some more Sophia trousers at some point. Um, yeah. So this is my last sew um, that I have to show you in this video, which is my most successful make, my favourite make, which is this lovely Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress in beautiful William Morris fabric from um, Textile Express. Express textiles. Textile Express. <laughs> I will um, link them below. They don't have any more of this fabric, sadly. I bought it. Uh, last year when it first came out because Paige Joanna bought some and shared it on her Instagram and I was like oh my goodness I need some of that um, and I absolutely fell in love with it but um, yeah unfortunately it is now sold out otherwise I would probably buy more and make more stuff with it because I just love it but yeah this turned out really nicely I'm really pleased with this I did the option with the big fluted sleeves I'll pop up a picture for you so you can see me wearing it um, I made this for my birthday so I wore it on my birthday which is really nice and we went to visit William Morris's house which is in um I don't think it's Oxfordshire I think it's actually Gloucestershire it's on the border we live in Oxfordshire it's on the border um but yeah we went to the house that he used to stay at in the summer um which has got lots of his um like artifacts drawings things like that in there which is really lovely to see um so I got loads of compliments from all the little um old lady volunteers which was really nice everyone was like oh I love your dress <laughs> um so yeah I really love this um I also did pockets which I'm really happy about because I love a dress with pockets um so yeah I definitely want to make the indigo pattern again it was a really easy pattern to follow um I think I may have a go at doing a bust adjustment though because again it wasn't a hundred percent right and I feel like it wasn't as long as it could have been I mean I really like the way it looks it's a particular look and I'm happy with that but it would be nice maybe to adjust it so that I can have like a longer bodice so it's more like at the waist um which I know it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be like empire line but I think that could look quite nice with the gather and then the sleeves um so I think I'm going to play around with it at some point um when I get some fabric um but yeah I'm so pleased with this make um I've already had got quite a lot of wear out of it um it suddenly got really like chilly um in England it's been really lovely like beautiful sunny weather it suddenly got really chilly um even though it's now June um and I wore this the other day with tights and it worked really well so that was nice to see that actually I'll be able to wear it like in the autumn um maybe in the winter maybe if I'm like going out for dinner or something I'm not sure I just wear it around because it'll be really quite cold <laughs> um but yeah you can wear it with black tights and boots and it actually still looks really really nice so yeah I'm really really pleased with this make so favorite make of spring <laughs> okay so now we're on to some knitting so I'm going to start off with this which I finished in oh I want to say beginning of April um, and it was still quite chilly so I did actually get quite a lot of wear out of it. I took it on holiday to Scotland um, and I could wear it like a jacket which was really nice which was kind of my thought was that it would be a great like wintry, autumn, springy, transitional dog walking jacket. <laughs> um, so yeah this is a Mode at Rowan pattern. It's from their Mode at Rowan collection. I think it's collection five I want to say. It's the autumn winter twenty. 21 collection it's the kai cardigan um i'll link it below the pattern um it was so easy to follow it was really nice because um you know i was not doing great health wise um in sort of january february march it was just so nice to have such an easy make to just sit there it's knit on i think seven or eight millimeter needles so it obviously knits up quite fast um the yarn is beautiful it's merino aria um and mine is in the shade um natural and yeah it's just a beautiful blown yarn super soft merino yarn really lightweight so yeah it was the perfect chilled um make um but yeah i'll pop a picture of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like i picked these big tortoiseshelly buttons because i thought that 
um it's hard to hold this up <laughs> i thought that that would work well it's got this lovely collar um my sleeves are a bit too big which is often the way they're really quite long i probably should have measured them because they've come out quite long um but that's fine because i'm just folding them up and i actually really like that look you'll see in the picture it looks quite nice to just have them folded up um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that knit. I'm probably not going to get much wear of it now until like September, October time because um, it's warming up a bit for summer. But yeah, as I say, it's a really nice like transitional piece when it's, you know, not cold enough to put a big thick coat on yet, but you, you need some kind of protection for, yeah, as I say, like walking the dog. I think it's a perfect one. It's like oversized and cosy. The only thing is I thought maybe it'd be really helpful to have some pockets for like dog treats. <laughs> So maybe, I don't know, maybe I could knit some patch pockets for or something. We'll see. Um, and then another knit that I finished in spring was my first ever sock. So this hasn't actually been blocked yet, so it's a bit misshapen. <laughs> I need to get some sock blockers. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, it's a little bit misshapen around the heel. Um, it was hard because the pattern I was using, which is my own fault, was a um, DPN pattern double pointed needle pattern and i decided i wanted to do it on um n like magic loop method because it's just more relaxing for me because it was just a stocking neck stitch pattern um i'm interested to try lauren from um not lauren laura <laughs> laura from penrose knits um has spoken about these like small sock needles before they're like in the round um so i'm interested i might try those actually um i think they're just like really short or something one needle short than the other i can't remember quite what she said but she said they're amazing so <laughs> i might try those um because also i've got a bit of like um laddering where my um magic loop you know where the um end of the magic loop is um but yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. They're quite cute little stripy socks. Um, I think they'll be a lot better when they've been blocked. Um, I've tried them on and they're a little bit small. So when I block them, I'm hoping that'll stretch them out. And if it doesn't, then, then the other one that I make to match this one, I'll obviously make slightly bigger. I wasn't expecting these to be super wearable. I kind of thought that they would be my first ever sock. So <laughs> they'd be a good like practice. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to sort of move on to like slightly more interesting sock pattern next maybe like a lacy one or a ribbed one or something um but yeah i'm quite happy with this little cute sock <laughs> and then my final um knitwear from the spring is this cardigan here um i'll pop up a picture to show you me wearing it um but basically it is a 1980s i think 80s pattern um i got a whole bunch of patterns from my auntie's friends mum who um sadly passed away and she left about 300 knitting patterns in her attic um and my auntie's friend said do you know anybody who would actually be able to use these and she said oh yes my my um niece loves to knit and i've got this incredible pattern collection now i didn't keep all of them because there were so many i sent some to somebody else as well um but yeah this incredible pattern collection that ranges from the 50s right through to the 90s um and yeah just some of them are so beautiful some of them hilarious like the baby ones where they've got like literally everything boots leggings mittens romper cardigan hat like the only thing that isn't covered in knitwear is like the face <laughs> um so yeah i just love that i think that's gonna have to be um something that i do one day when i have a child gonna like cover them in knitwear <laughs> um but yeah i made this lovely um 80s cardigan i changed it slightly because the sleeves were supposed to be like tapered they were supposed to go down and instead i made them like a like a balloon sleeve um because i just really like that look and i think it worked well with the lace design so the design's got like a pom-pom and a little v of lace which is really pretty um the buttons i have used are um paige joanna's um new button collection that she's done with pigeon wishes i think they're still available they're still in stock so i'll link them down below they're really beautiful i'll just come closer they are um green pale sagey green um 
she's called them Willow um, after her daughter and also after her favourite William Morris print, which is one of my favourites as well, the Willow Bow. Um, yeah, I'm so pleased with this. I'm going to get so much wear out of it. I've already worn it so many times um, because I wear a lot of dresses in the summer and when it's a bit cooler like it often is in England or in the evening when it cools down it's nice to be able to just throw a cardigan on so this will just go with everything because it's cream um I made it out of Stylecraft um special DK just because I like to have a couple of pieces of knitwear I have another cardigan and a jumper made from Stylecraft it's one of my favorite yarns to do to use for children's knits um, because it washes so well and it's really soft um, and I like to have a few things in acrylic just because they're easy and I'm not so precious about them and I don't worry about washing them and you know I can just throw them in the washing machine and they'll be absolutely fine so um, yeah I know some people are real purists about like always using you know wool or alpaca or whatever animal fiber plant fiber but um i quite like to have a couple of things also it just makes it so much more affordable like this card can cost me eight pounds to make um obviously not including the buttons <laughs> um so yeah including the buttons 18 pounds to make this card again um which i'm going to get loads of wear out of um so yeah i i love it I love it. <laughs> so that is everything I made in spring. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to start filming monthly makes. It'll probably mostly be sewing, but there might be the odd knitting garment in there because it takes me a bit longer to knit. So there might be like one knitting garment per video. Um, I did ask on my Instagram, would people prefer me to do like a knitting podcast every few months with all the things I've kni I'm knitting or I've knit or finished? Um, like a more traditional knitting podcast and then to do like monthly sewing makes videos and um 75 percent of people said that they like it all together in one video so there was 25 percent that said they prefer it separately um <laughs> so i'm going with putting it all together but do comment below if you'd prefer something else um also comment below if you just have any videos that you'd like me to do it'd be great um to hear what you would like um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did um please give it a like um and please tell me in the comments below what you've been making this spring or what your plans are for making in the summer um and i will see you soon with um hopefully my june sewing i've got so so many things planned because I've got a holiday at the end of June and two weddings in July and I want to get all of the stuff sewn um so hopefully I will actually <laughs> manage to get all that done um we'll have to see um but yeah um I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time thanks bye